another sunny cloudy day. They say it's supposed to be in on Tuesday, so some time left anyways if it's correct. And what did I read today? How about this one? Still things like the war going on, huh? And as well, people are using things like drones. This one says Russia and Ukraine launched numerous drone attacks targeting a Russian airbase and Black Sea coast. There were actually posts online of, I guess, the equipment and all that too that was recovered. It says Russia and Ukraine reportedly launched mass drone attacks at each other's territories for a second straight day Sunday, one of which apparently targeted a Russian military airport. At least 35 Ukrainian drones were shot down overnight over three regions in southwestern Russia, the Russian Defense Ministry said in a post on the messaging app Telegram. A Russian airbase hosting bomber aircraft used in the war in Ukraine was among the targets, according to a Russian telegram channel critical of the Kremlin. The channel posted short videos of drones flying over low-rise housing in what it claimed was the Russian town of Morozovsk, whose airbase is home to Russia's 559th Bomber Aviation Regiment. Vasily Golubey, the governor of Russia's Rostov province, separately reported mass drone strikes near Marasov and another town farther west, but didn't mention the airbase. Golovitz said most of the drones were shot down and there were no casualties. He didn't comment on the damage. I guess during those times during wars, one of those things where even if it's really bad, you'd want to downplay it as well, just for the sake of, I guess, tactical strategy to say, hey, you're not affecting us, even if it potentially did anyways. But here it says, also Sunday morning, Ukraine's Air Force said it shot down 20 Iranian-made Shahed drones launched overnight by Russian troops in southwestern and western Ukraine, as well as one X-59 cruise missile launched from the country's occupied south. So it's just non-stop war, huh? You just never know. It could be okay here today, and then all of a sudden, I guess, someone could just say, okay, we're going to war with them now, and then it'll be never-ending. Either way, again, like here, lots of people using drones for the war, and they're still worried here anyways about people like recreational flyers and all that. It's still kind of crazy to think about, huh? Although with that said, usually it's the leaders of various countries that would have to say, for example, yes, we're going to the war, or no, we're not going to. And this was kind of interesting just in terms of, I guess, government and so forth. Apparently this one was about corruption, if that's what you want to say anyways, in terms of someone lying about something. This one says, UK parliamentarian admits lying about lucrative pandemic contracts, but says she's done nothing wrong. That I wouldn't be surprised. During all those shutdowns and so forth, somebody was making a lot of money anyways. It says here, a member of Britain's House of Lords has acknowledged that she repeatedly lied about her links to a company that was awarded lucrative government contracts to supply protective masks and gowns during the coronavirus pandemic. Underwear tycoon Michelle Moen said that she had made a quote error in denying connections to the company PPE MedPro and regretted threatening to sue journalists who alleged she had ties to the firm. Her husband, Doug Barrowman, has acknowledged he led the consortium that owns the company. Wow, that's really bad actually. And it says, I did make an error in saying to the press that I wasn't involved, Moen said in BBC interview broadcast Sunday. Hindsight is a wonderful thing. I wasn't trying to pull the wool over anyone's eyes, and I regret and I'm sorry for not saying straight out, yes, I am involved. Moan admitted that she is a beneficiary of her husband's financial trust, which hold about 60 million pounds in profits from the deal. Yeah, I guess you could definitely say she benefited from it in that aspect. What would be the argument there? Is it one of those technicalities of, hey, I'm technically not involved with it. I'm not working there, for example, in any type of capacity. But if you're getting benefits in that way, that's how a lot of, I guess, corruption actually <laughs> conducts itself, correct? They try to hide the trace and all that. Although I guess she's saying people are just using this to target her, says, but she argued that the couple were being made, quote, scapegoats in a wider scandal about UK government spending during the pandemic, saying we've done one thing, which was to lie to the press to say we weren't involved, she said, adding, I can't see what we've done wrong. Is that kind of contradicting there, say? One thing, which was to lie to the press to say we weren't involved, she says we've done nothing wrong. Either way, it's one of those things too. When it comes to governments, politics, whatever you want to call it, there's always some kind of corruption in this case involving money and all that, huh?
All right, see you guys later.